so we're going to start <clears throat> with your Milate today in the middle of your mat facing me. I want you to first just press all four corners of your feet into the floor and really feel strong in your stance. Just coming up from your feet, you've got a slight bend in your knees, you're not locking them backwards. Your pelvis is in a neutral position, so you're not tucking it under, you're not arching your back, it's just nice and happy in the middle. Bringing it up, you've got a neutral spine, and you want to think about always pulling that belly button right into your spine. Leading up your shoulders and down and back, stacked on top of your hips, and your chin is just raised, so it's parallel to the Floor. We're going to start by breathing, so open your hands, you're going to close your eyes and I just want you to focus in on breathing in, really widen your lungs with air and slowly breathe out, holding on to your core, breathing in your own time, breathe out, so keep breathing. And I just want you to use this moment to forget about anything that's gone, in, gone on in the week or the day. Any deadlines, any stresses you've got in the back of your mind. This is your 45 minutes to just completely forget about them. Focus in on you, how you're feeling. Any stiffness or tightness. And with each breath, I want you to breathe in thinking I. Breathe out thinking. Side stretch, 
to your right and bring it back up and then again the other way and up so we're stretching in every direction possible to elongate your spine lengthen the space in between your vertebrae it's a really good thing to focus on especially if you're sat at work couple more as big as you can keep that pelvis facing forwards good and all we're going to do now is breathe in stretch high fingertips right towards the sky exhale let your arms release curl down perfect inhale draw it back up vertebra by vertebra reach Exhale, reverse, chin to chest, soft knees, roll down. And again, breathe in. And down. Last one. And we're going to do the same thing, but without the control. So I want you to breathe in, stretch. Tip your hands forward, swing it forward, rebound onto your legs, bring it back up. Good, each time you swing, big breath out. Try not to be shy with your breaths. Really make a sound as you breathe. Make the swing as big as you can possibly go. Good. You've got one more. And stretch it out, well done. Oh, you should start feeling the blood start to move around your body, feeling that a little bit warmer. Or it's place your feet underneath your hips. We're just going to start with a little bit of balance. So to start off, take your right heel up and squeeze it back down. Perfect. So as you do this, I want you to think about lifting out of your hips. So we're not sinking into one hip. You're keeping your weight central and up. Your weight slightly forward, your belly button squeezing into your spine. You're keeping those shoulders open. Perfect. A couple more. It's the smallest of movements, but I want you to make this movement the hardest thing you've ever done. Perfect. From here, change it, point it forwards, and just bring it back. So it's like you're just tapping your toe into a puddle or a lake, bring it back down. So try not to place your weight onto your toe. Good. Perfect, well done. You've got one more. And then from here, I just want you to peel up your toe, bring your knee high, take it down to the toe. A little tap, bring it up. Well done, so we've crossed out to come to the end of your warm up. Perfect, bring it in, and out, in, and out, last one, take it down, shake out that leg, warm up the opposite leg, we're going to start with your heel raise, squeeze it back down, perfect, well done, good, so keep focusing on that one point, even though we're very still, again, don't think about anything other than what you're doing and you're breathing. Perfect. Turn this into a point forward. Keep that balance in that right foot. Draw it on back. Good. Tap that toe in front. Bring it back. As you tap your toe forward, imagine you're creating a little ripple in the lake. The water's warm. And it just brings a bit of peace into your body. And you can't help but feel happy. One more. Good. From here, draw that knee back up. And take it back down. Perfect. Well done. A couple more. Well done. shake it out. We're going to go into the roll down and start getting the abs involved. So I'll go to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. Stand tall, 
dip your chin down. This time you're going to walk out into a plank. Shoulders underneath your hip, uh, shoulders. Breathe in. As you exhale, bring it back. Perfect. And again, take it down. Walk it out, hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your belly button into your spine. One big deep breath. And roll it back. Roll it up. Well done. Breathe it in. Roll down. And take it back. Perfect. Roll it up. And down. Roll it out. Big breath in as you get to the bottom. Roll it back. Again. So take your time. You don't need to rush it, it's just your moment to just wake up your body. Take it up. Perfect. This time I want you to take it down and you're just going to hold the plank there. Push away from the floor. Really anchor your hands down. Keep your bottom and land with your shoulders down to your heels. Squeeze your belly button into your spine and keep looking slightly forward, then look down at your feet. Good. We've got two more deep breaths. You've got this. Last one. Perfect. Place your knees down. Untuck your toes. Push yourself back into child's pose. Feel free to open your thighs so you can. Stretch down that little bit further. So this is your safety position. At any point, if you feel like it's getting too much, come back to this position. And just use this moment to take a breath and join in when you're ready. Perfect. Bring it up into all fours. From here, I want you to squeeze your belly button up into your spine. Pull your chin into your chest. Exhale, reversing it. Look up towards the sky. And again, breathe in. Exhale, take it up. Perfect. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, last one. Really squeeze it in. And reverse as you exhale. And breathe in, come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under. We're going to go into the down facing dog. So you're going to push with your toes. Pelvis up towards the sky. From there, you're going to straighten out your legs. Don't worry if you can't get your heels down into the floor. Just feel that stretch down your calves and into your hamstring. From here, I want you to pad one heel at a time down into the floor. So this is brilliant if you've got any tight hamstrings, tight scalp calves. Perfect. Just keep one at a time, pressing it down. I want you to place your weight and your thumb and your index finger, keeping your arms straight. And think about your armpits pressing down to the floor. Perfect. Walk your feet together. Try to squeeze your heels down. You've got to raise your right leg back to face the back wall. Or if you can, tip it up as high as it can go towards the ceiling and stretch. Bend that top leg, allowing your hips to open out towards me. And hold it there. Well done. Just keep breathing. Perfect. Realign your hips to face the floor. Straighten your leg. And bring that leg down again. Perfect. One at a time, squeeze your heels down. Walk your feet back together. This time, raise your opposite leg, left leg out towards the back wall. Or if you can, keep reaching it high towards the sky. Really use that stretch. Bend that leg, open up your hips. And stretch. Slowly take that leg back down. You're going to pick up your right leg. Place your leg through both hands. To run a stance, so you're just holding the lunge with your hands on the floor. From here, easy option is to 
place your knee on the floor or keep it there you can open up your right arm up towards me twist it up towards the sky so this is too much feel free to place your leg on the floor and hold it here slowly into a plank and switch legs the left legs in front place your right hand down towards the sky open up your left arm good slowly bring it down from here place your weight in your left leg as you bring your right leg in you're going to sink your pelvis down hold it into chair pose reach your hands up towards the sky Really open out your chest. Imagine you've got energy coming out of your fingertips. Try not to knock your knees together. And reach it up. Take it down, stretch it out. So we're going to go into a sun salutation. This is where we're going to start getting the heartbeat high, warming up your body. So we'll start slow and then we'll gradually increase the pace. So hand feet underneath your hips. We're going to start with a big breath in, arms high. Exhale, you're going to swan dive down, tipping your pelvis back, trying to keep your legs as straight as they can, fold forwards. Breathe in, hands on your shins, flat back, or if you can, see so you can keep your fingers on the floor. Exhale, fold. Breathe in as you slowly walk your feet back into plank. Exhale, easy option, put your knees on the floor. Take your chest down towards the floor, bring it up into a cobra or upward facing dog where you peel your knees off the floor. Breathe in, squeeze your pelvis up into plank. Exhale, tip your pelvis up into down facing dog. Perfect, hold it here. Lovely. Breathe in, taking your feet back. And relax, exhale. Breathing back into that flat back. Exhale, fold. Breathing, reverse one dive up. Exhale, take it down. That's one. We're going to go again. Breathing, that's it. Bring it up. Big stretch. Exhale, widen out your arms. One dive down. Breathing, flat back up. Exhale, down. Breathe in, walk your feet back into plank. Exhale, knees down as an easier option. Down towards the floor, then yes, you're back up. Breathe in. Plank, exhale, down facing dog, armpits pressed to the floor. Perfect, walk your feet back into your hands. Big exhale as you rise up into flat back. Exhale as you fold. Breathe in as you drive it, reverse one dive up. Exhale, reverse your arms back down. And we'll start again. Breathe in, make it bigger. Exhale, tip down. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, walk. All this time, jump your feet back. Exhale, chaturanga your chest down towards the floor, up into upper facing dog or cobra. Breathe in, plank. Exhale, rise your hips up towards the sky. Jump or walk your feet back into your hands. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, down. Breathe in, reverse one dive. Exhale down, brilliant. Right, we're going to start picking up the pace a little bit. So breathe in. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, down. Walk or jump your feet back into plank. Chat around it down towards the floor, up into cobra or up and face your dog. Breathe up into plank. Exhale, down facing dog. Walk or jump your feet back to your hands. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, 
exhale it down. Breathe in reverse swan dive. Well done. Exhale, take it down. Perfect. And again, breathe in. Exhale. Each time you breathe in, I want you to try expand your spine that little bit more. Fold it down. Jump or walk your feet back. Hands under your shoulders. Try to round it down to the floor. Upward facing dog. Breathe in. Plank. Squeeze your belly button into your spine. Exhale, push it up into downward facing dog. Good. Walk or jump your feet back. Breathe in. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Breathe in reverse swan dive. Good. Exhale down. We've got two more. Let's go. Breathe in. Exhale, huge expansion now. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale down. Jump or walk your feet back. Chaturanga, down towards the floor, up to the sky. Well done. Breathe in, plank. Keep your belly button squeezed into your spine. Downward facing dog. Walk or jump your feet back. Right, this is your last one. I want you to make it as big as you can. Breathe in, expand your abs to the side and up. Exhale, use your breath. Breathe in, flat back. Exhale, down. Walk or jump your feet back to plank. Chaturanga down to the floor, bring it into the upper face and dog or cobra. Breathe in, squeeze your abs, plank. Exhale, push your pelvis towards the ceiling, hold. So before we carry on, I just want you to take this moment to breathe. Again, you've got to be a bit warmer in your hamstrings now, so just put one heel down to the floor. Perfect. Jump or walk your feet back. Bring it into a flat back. Exhale down. Bend your knees, and again, you've got to swoop your hands forwards. Take it into that chair pose. Perfect. Roll your shoulders down. Wonderful. Fire up your quads. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears and just keep breathing. Place your palms together and put them on the outside of your right leg and look up towards the sky. Perfect. Bring it up. And reverse, take it the other way. This time, take it up all the way to a stand. Shake out your legs. We're going to go into our second sun salutation, but we're going to include a little bit more legs into your lunges. So grab a drink whenever you need one. Otherwise, come to the front of your mat again. And we're going to start just how we did before. So you're going to breathe in. Exhale. Forward, fall down. Breathe in. Flat back. Exhale down. Jump or walk your feet back into a plank. Chaturanga down to the floor, up the face and dog. Perfect. Squeeze into plank. Push your pelvis up into downward facing dog. From here, I want you to slowly walk your feet together. Brilliant. Slowly float your right foot up towards the sky and hold. Well done. I want you to squeeze your belly button into your spine as you draw your knee into a cheetah underneath your chest and you're going to reverse, taking your weight back, leg to the sky. And again, bring it in, cheetah. And take it back. Exhale. Perfect. Two more times. Breathe it in. And take it back. Exhale. Last one. Breathe it in. And this time you're going to place your leg in between both hands. Runner's pose. Perfect. From here you're going to draw your arms up into crescent pose. And if it's getting a little bit hard you can also bend that back leg. I want you to use this to stretch 
stretch out your hips, especially if you've been sat down all day, use this moment to just release the tension and tightness. All we need to do is just hold. Make sure your right knee is in line with your right ankle. And just breathe. One more deep breath, well done. This time, extend your arms forward, right back down to the floor. Slowly place that leg back down. Again, try to it down towards the floor, squeeze it up into swan dive. Upward facing dog, squeeze it into plank, back into your downward facing dog. Perfect, slowly walk your feet back together. This time, float your left leg to the back wall or keep it going all the way to the sky. Squeeze in, inhale, bringing your left knee into your chest. Exhale, take it up. And again, inhale in. Perfect, exhale. So this whole time, bring it in. Try not to look down towards your feet. Keep your neck in line with your spine. And out. Perfect. Bring it in. Last time, take it out. This time, take it in. Place your left foot in between both hands. Hold it there. Perfect. From here, squeeze your belly in. Keep your control. Lift your arms high. Keep your shoulders nice and parallel. Stretch out that groin. Hold the present pose. Perfect. Keep breathing. Take it down. Take that leg back. Try to it down towards the floor. Upper facing dog. This time I want you to come into plank. Knees down onto the floor, push it back into child's pose again, and relax, well done. Just breathe laterally, it's for me, you're just filling your air, your lungs with air. Keeping your belly button squeezed in, exhale. Perfect, bring your hands in front, and slowly just press your chest down towards the floor and extend, well done. From here, I want you to focus on your cobra, so you just gotta breathe in, stretch your arms. Exhale, take your left chin on the floor. Perfect, breathe in, stretch. Exhale, take it down. Right cheek on the floor. Last two. Bring it up, and exhale down, last one, bring it in, and take it down, perfect, I want you to stretch your hands behind your back, use it as a little lever to squeeze your shoulders off the floor, bring it up, take it down, and again, squeeze it up, and if you can, bend your knees, hold on to one ankle each, go into your bow pose, and bring your chest and knees off the floor. Perfect, well done. And take it down. Relax, arm out of front. From here, I want you to lift your hands off the floor, lift your legs off the floor, and you're very slowly going to swim, squeezing your shoulder blades together, keeping your glutes strong, using those back muscles to stabilize the core. Keep swimming. Otherwise, 
tuck your fat toes under, squeeze it up. And I want you to take three deep breaths again here. Shoulders, neck, head, take it back. 
And again, let's go. Breathe in, exhale, pull up. Well done. A little stretch for your hip hamstrings. Breathe in, lower your body. And again, exhale, take it down. Inhale, to the pulse on there, bring it back. Perfect. We've got two more. Really slowly, test your balance. And back. Last one, you're going to come up and stay sat up. And relax well. We're going to go into a bit of balance as well as core. So bring your toes onto the floor. Place your hands behind your thighs for a little bit of stability. And option one is you're just going to take one foot off the floor, bring it down. One foot, bring it down. So your back isn't straight up. I'm going to think it being about 70, 80 degrees. So you're slightly leaning back to counterbalance with your legs. Second option is to lift both legs off the floor, hold for a beat, bring it back down. Perfect. And if you can, can you release your hands and bring your legs up and back down. Your third option is to take it that little bit more. You're going to curl your hips under, roll your body back, bring it up, see if you can balance in that boat pose. Take it down. Make sure you're going right through the spine. Well done. Tuck your chin to your chest. Bring it back up and hold. Well done. And your last option, can you do it with your legs straight? Hold that V. Take it back. Bring it up and hold. Well done. Take it back. Bring it up. Hold. Perfect, you have four more of your choice. Test yourself. Also give yourself a little back massage while you're at it. As you swing back, big exhale. Oh, last one. Place your feet back into the floor. Slowly curl down. Well done very last bit before we go into our relaxation we're just going to stretch out our hips a little more so option one is to place all four corners of your feet into the floor hands down squeeze your pelvis underneath raise your pelvis up straight line from your knees all the way to your shoulders hold it there slowly bring it back down to the floor brilliant inhale Exhale, push away with your heels. Up into a shoulder bridge. Take it back down. Well done, bring it up. And back down. And up. And down, well done. So you're also working your glutes and your hamstrings. Just opening up your hips, drawing it back down to the floor. You've got two more in your own time. And then we're going to hold the stretch. Second one, raise your bottom high. Hold it there. Option one is to clasp your hands underneath your spine. Try walk a little bit more onto your shoulders. Push your hips up into the ceiling. We're curving out your spine, a little bit more of an arch. Second two is to go into the crab. So you place your hands behind your shoulders. Make sure you're not holding on to your hair. Push your hips up and stretch it there. Whichever option, I just want you to breathe in through the nose, expand the chest. Exhale, for pierce lips. You've got three more deep breaths. Perfect. Finish it off. Just slowly, very slowly.
place yourself back onto the floor and hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. From here, place your left leg over your right. Hold on to your ankles and you're just gonna open out your hips just this way. Feel it in your outside of your thighs. And try to pull your ankles towards your chest. You should feel this as well down your IT band, which is the big muscle that runs right down the side of your leg. And switch sides. Opposite leg over the top. Beautiful. Place your knees back together, open out your hands. Drop your legs over towards one side, thoracic twist, look the opposite way. So we're coming to the end of our session. So I want you to start closing your eyes. Start focusing back in your breath. And also focusing on your body. How does your body feel different now to when you started? Bring your legs back to the middle and take it towards the other side. How do you feel? Do you feel calmer? Do you feel more released? Perfect. Bring your legs back to center. This time, open up your legs. Imagine you're pressing your soles of your feet to the ceiling. Either place your hands on the inside of your shins or on your toe or the balls of your feet. And you're just going to do happy baby where we rock side to side. Just releasing any of that last tension in your hips. Close your eyes. Enjoy the feeling. Brilliant. Slowly come to the middle. Again, knees together. And slowly drop your legs out. And for the last minute, I want you to find yourself in the most comfortable position that you can find. Wherever your legs are bent, just place your knees together to give them a bit of support. Or extend your legs out. Let the gravity take your feet open. Palms to the sky. And I just want you to take a deep breath in. Very slowly exhale, allowing your eyelids to feel heavy.
face me, slowly open your eyes. Sit with your legs crossed, open your palms up towards the sky. Big shoulder rolls backwards. One more. Perfect. And to finish, I want you to take your final big deep breath, elongate in your spine, lift your arms, palms together, bring it down, draw it to your heart, exhale. Namaste. Thank you very much. I hope you feel relaxed, lengthened.